Well, I find her extremely funny, but now in this modern day, perhaps we're no longer allowed to laugh at. Hello, possums! <laughs> Hello, darlings, let me look at you. Did you know, this is, this is very educational, did you know that Quebec was once joined to Australia in the Jurassic period. Did you know that? <laughs> because in the outback, in caves in the outback, they have found fossilised women. Rather like you, as a matter of fact, darling, they have. Dame Edna Everidge, a.k.a. Barry Humphreys, as the Times newspaper reports, he might be Australia's most famous cross-dressing comedian, but his name's been dropped from a top industry award as he is accused of being transphobic. Since 2000, the Barry Award, as in Barry Humphreys, has gone to the most outstanding performance at the annual Melbourne Comedy Festival. However, the organising committee has decided to change to the Melbourne International Comedy Festival Award. Barry Humphreys is 85. His best-known character is Dame Edna Everidge. He suggested in an interview that transgender rights issues, including calls for third-gender toilets, were a fad and described transgender surgery as a form of self-mutilation. How many different kinds of lavatory can you have? It's pretty evil when it's preached to children by crazy teachers, he told the spectator. A couple of years ago in the Daily Telegraph, Miss Humphreys described Caitlin Jenner, the former Olympic athlete who is transgender, as, these are his words, not mine, a publicity-seeking rat bag. Joy Carter is a stand-up comic. It's Dame Edna, no longer a laughing matter. Good morning. Good morning. Great to be on the show. Yeah. Um, I think I think we live in a climate today of accountability for your words. Um, obviously, I completely respect the fact that he made these comments in 2016. They weren't part of his show. Well, they were part of his show, but also mm. even up until last year, he was well, 2017, he was given the opportunity to recount for his words and take them back, which he chose not to do in a serious setting. So. Even though he is 85, even though he's a national legend, um, you know, we, we still have to be accountable for the words that we say because words have power and they can destroy people's lives. But it's only a word, isn't it? It's only a per set of letters put in a certain, certain uh, order. Well, you know, I'm, I'm also a black comedian and, you know, we, I know the black community, certainly, we've suffered years of people saying, oh, it's just a joke, you know, it's not, you know, but, you know, we don't tolerate racism anymore. You just, we just don't. And I think the but transgender do, community is, is and, and also just generally, don't, we don't want to see people victimised for their is identity. He, is he victimising people? Um, I mean, well, it's quite you, strong, you, isn't you, it? You know, you say um, it's... you're a mutilated man, um, that's all self-mutilation. I mean, you know, mutilation is quite a strong term, isn't it? So can he still be, Dame Edna? You know what? Everybody loves him, and I think there's a lot of grace and space around him. But to actually have an award, which is, you know, I mean, yeah. that's quite a, an important thing, isn't it? I mean, you know, lots of young people, potential young comics are going to be looking up to him and going, you know, just it makes it look as though it's OK to, 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 to say whatever you want and have no accountability for your words. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's that's my thing. I mean, you know, but... it's... I, I, Humour plays a really important point to say stuff, but if you're just destroying, you know, if you're just having a go at people, you know, it's yeah. not really so, good. So just lastly, can, can he still be Dame Edna then? I think people always love him. I know I will always respect that man, but at the age of 85, I think he needs to think very seriously about his legacy and mm. what people will be thinking of him moving forward. I'm grateful for your time. Joy Carter, thank you for that. You're a stand-up comedian saying, suggesting that perhaps... Perhaps the days of Dame Edna are no longer with us. You'll have views on that. We'll come to those um, in a moment.